guys, I know you see me dressed in the same as the as the previous video, but today I had a couple of hours free, so I thought it, that I would have just um, uh, recorded some uh, some uh, some videos for you. So today is the highs and lows of 2019. 2019 has been a really weird, strange and hard year for me. There were some great things and some bad ones, of course, as I think it is like that for everyone. So 2019 started very bad for me because I got sick on uh, last of the year 2018 at around 10 or 11 o'clock p.m. and um, so I got really sick but we had a really great night with uh, all my friends and I made a cake that was really that was really good I really liked it and I put so so much efforts in <laughs> in so many efforts in it that you cannot even understand started really great actually in January or February I don't remember I tried snowboarding for the first time because my boyfriend uh, uh, does it and uh, he is really good but I think uh, it wasn't it was a great it wasn't a really great experience because I was too afraid but I think that I w would like to try it again this year so um, March was the month that gave me uh, more problems because me and my boyfriend were out in Florence for a couple of days to celebrate our first year together and Florence is one of my favorite cities in the whole world and um, uh, I received a call and my grandpa fell off so um, it was a really a hard moment for me. We all thought that he was not going to be able to, you know, get better, and he was getting sicker and sicker. So we thought it was, uh, uh, you know, it wasn't going to end up really, really good. So the next few months were hard for me. Uh, the only thing, good thing that I can remember from that moment was. In April, when me, my cousin, my, when my cousin and my uh, other best friend went to uh, Vienna to celebrate my cousin's birthday, and it was really nice. We just uh, left all of our problems here for a couple of days, and it was really nice and relaxing. But I think in between March and June, even July, uh, I've spent I. Um, uh, I felt so much pressure and so much stress uh, on, uh, on, on me. Um, uh, in May, I think it was May, I stopped working out. I uh, do CrossFit and CrossFit is really hard to do. You have to be not, you have to be there not only with your, with your body but also with your mind unless you can get hurt really hard. But I think it, all the sports are, are like that, but sometimes CrossFit is really, really hard for me. So I just um, started gain. I started gaining so, not so much, but a little bit of weight because I was not working out. I tried to go out and running, but it was too much. And then I had to be, be with my grandparents. We had to, you know, take care of them a lot because we put, a, um, we hired uh, a woman to be with them because they are 91 years old now and, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> and it's really hard to, like, uh, go on with your life and help them to, because we all work or study and uh, we cannot be with them 24-7, of course. So, um, in July, things got a little bit better because I uh, started to, um, because I gave some exams at university and they all went really good and I planned uh, a party for mine and my boyfriend's birthday because we were born uh, one uh, day apart. Uh, different years, 
beautiful one day apart, so we celebrated together and we planned a Mexican party and it was really nice, all of our friends came, there was a lot of color, there was a, a lot of great food, great things to drink, my boyfriend made a margarita that was too alcoholic I think, but um, the party was really good and my gift for him was uh, like a getaway um, in um, Agropoli, which is a small village um, in, uh, in Campania and it's really this place, this B&B that I uh, found is really nice. It has this breakfast on the sea, actually. There is this terrace on the sea. And it was so relaxing that we didn't want to move from there. We didn't want to get up and even go to the beach. So it was a couple of days that helped us relaxing a lot because he had so much to do this year and so much to you know, face this year, this past year, and me too, with my grandparents, so it was a really great getaway for, for, the, for that moment. But when we talked about going on holiday in August, it was really hard because I didn't want to move uh, uh, too far because of my grandpa. We all thought, you know, that we were spending the last moments with him, which is really hard ugly to say right now but he was really really sick at that moment and everyone now is surprised that he got up and he's walking again and you know he's just doing his the the old things that he that he used to do unbelievable so um we decided to go in Hvar in Croatia and that was a really great place um the the sea was great the weather was great uh, the people so and so but um we took a scooter and we we just discovered all the um all the island which is not really big but you know, 10 days, uh, I think almost 10 days we spent there. Uh, we uh, got to these beautiful beaches um, and you had to walk a lot and in these paths that were not so nice. But at the end of the day, the view was amazing. So I suggest you to go if you, if you are searching for a, a place for the summer. And um, uh, so it was really nice again and uh, it was a nice at the end uh, holiday. I didn't think that I was going to, I was going to be able to go on a holiday in the summer 2019. But in that summer 2019, but at the end we managed to to do everything. The months in between September and now helped me to balance myself. I needed to start over, or not really over, but start from uh, from. Uh, um, uh, you know, start again, and um, I decided that I don't want to keep. I don't want to take things in the worst way. I need to be calm and face things with calm. I don't need to get a uh, you know uh, anxious. It's it's really stupid to act like that. So I'm trying to react calmly and things that happen into my life even if they are not really you know good uh, or positive or positive things i don't want to i don't want to meet i, I don't want to moan over there being like oh this happened to me and i'm so sad you know something like that um but i started working out again and i feel better now um i took some works so, and uh some small work so while i'm finishing studying and it's really hard because these works, uh, you know, take me time from the working out. So I'm not really working out as I used to do. So I think I'm not really in that shape that I want. And but I went to a nutritionist to, you know, just see myself better. I had problems with myself. I still have problems with myself. So I think there's someone that can help me, you know. Uh, help accepted. Um, so this last part of the year, I liked it. You know, we're planning on the last of the year, and 
This year was really hard morally because, you know, I thought I was losing my grandpa. I basically grew up with him because my parents worked when I was a kid and he used to pick me up and bring me to his house and help me do my own work and all these kind of things. So I basically grew up with him and he brought me pizza every not every but almost every um afternoon that's why i have <laughs> i'm not really that 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 skinny but i uh, you know this is really this is really hard this was really hard but uh, at the moment we are you know kind of okay so i am so i wanted to make this video not just to share with you my highs and lows of 2019 but also because i wanted a memory for this year that I think it was really important into my into my life. So guys, this was my highs and lows of 2019. I want to know your highs because I just want to know, you know, the good things that happened to you in 2019. So write down in the comments and um, I'll see you tomorrow. I hope that I can uh, finish buying my Christmas presents so, so that I can start wrapping them. So see you tomorrow.